First John two five. Has de on te re al tu ton lagan alethos en tuto he agape tu theu tetaleotai en tuto gnoskamen hati en alto esmen. So yet another verse on sanctification being our primary source of assurance in salvation. So you have the post-positive here. The vowel has been alighted because of the on. And remember, whenever you have a relative pronoun followed by on, it turns the relative pronoun basically into an indefinite. Who goes to whoever. Whoever, and because you have on, you know that there's a subjunctive coming. And there it is from Tereo. Whoever keeps. Now, I know that in first year Greek, we teach that you hit the subjunctive, you just use may or might. And that's a good technique for first year. But there are times in which it's not necessary. Uh, and the question is, if you, and it's proper, better English anyway, to say, for whoever keeps his word. Not whoever might keep, but whoever keeps his word. It's the same idea, and it's a little better English. The alto is who? It's Jesus, isn't it? It's Jesus' word. Interesting placement before the noun that it modifies, but that's okay. But whoever keeps his word, then you're truly in this. In other words, another example of a demonstrative pronoun functioning as a personal. In this person, who's the person? Well, the person is who keeps his word. The love of God and then here you have your reduplication. There's your vowel from teleao. And it's the idea of being perfected in the sense of being complete. Now, this isn't perfectionism. That just, This doesn't mean that everything is absolutely perfect. And some of the translations say that, unfortunately, has been perfected. Uh, that's just not a good choice. But the love of God has been brought to maturity, is the idea. In this, and now this is really interesting. The tuto up here is a person. What's tuto here? Well, it's referencing back to all of this. That if this is true of you, that in this is how we know that we are in him. In other words, that we live in relationship with Jesus. It'll be a little clear when we can phrase it. So we'll go down to the punctuation. Start a new line there. Truly in this one. And I'll tell you why I'm putting a new line there in a second. Love of God has been made complete. Semicolon. In this we know. Dependent clause. That we are in him. So here's the question. Where is the subject and the verb? Well, the subject is agape, isn't it? And the, here's the verb. So love has been made complete. That's the basic idea. And I'll leave that underlined so we can see that. When the question is, how do these earlier phrases relate? Well, I'm actually going to put the prepositional phrase in its own line, make it a little clearer. But we're going to work backwards, okay? So we've got the love of God has been made complete. It's been made complete in this person. So the prepositional phrase is going to modify that. And then emphatically, it's truly has been made complete. Truly in this one, the love of God has been made complete. So what's with this opening relative clause? Well, it's starting the, the discussion, and you're going to have to connect the relative clause with its antecedent, which in this case comes after it. Who is in this one? Well, it's the one who keeps his word. Truly, the love of God has been made complete. And then the question is, well, what does this and tuto refer to? In this we know. Well, we know what? Well, we know that we are in him. 
But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put another break here to, because it's really two different thoughts. I mean, they're related thoughts, but the two different thoughts. What is the what is the antecedent of tuto? In this we know. Remember, the tuto can point forward and can point backwards. Well, in this particular case, the tuto is referring back to all of this, isn't it? This is how we know. Well, what do you mean this? Well, if the person who keeps God's word, in that person we know that the love of God has been made complete. And in that whole scenario, that's how we know that we are in him, that we're in relationship with him. So it's a little easier to see when you phrase it.